Hi everyone, this is AFC RD TV and welcome to highlights of Longbuckby against AFC Russian and Diamonds from the Quarter Trophies UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. Diamonds were looking to get back into the winning habit away at a side at the wrong end of the table. And it was the Diamonds that would go onto the offensive in the first case on a pretty heavy pitch. Matty Gearing started over on the left-hand side of this one and Faisal Career on the right and it was Career who had set up Adam Confu with a good run down the right-hand side. His centre would be met by Tom Lorraine whose control and shots were excellent. His eighth goal of the season coming in the fourth minute. But Buckby would get straight back into it. A long ball down the right-hand side slightly getting the better of Diamond's right-back Charlie Butt. Left winger for Buckby Nikosi Muzwana managed to centre the ball through and Ed Kostiuk was there for the home side to slam home the equaliser five minutes in. As the first half went on, the Diamonds would get into it more. There, Jason Turner with a strike being palmed over by ex-Diamond James Broadbent. Then Buckby defender Ben Wilson was perhaps a little bit fortunate not to have been a judge to have given away a penalty while tackling Faisal Korea. But before too long, Matty Gearing has scored a fair few of those. And on his return to the first team in league action, he slammed the diamond second past Broadbent in the 29th minute. And then Diamonds were perhaps a little bit fortunate to be awarded a penalty there. It didn't look too much deliberate intent. But Jason Turner stuck away the penalty anyway in the 32nd minute to make it 3-1 to the Diamonds. Buckby had the odd attack in the first half. Here, Unlove and Duna with a nice run forward. Although he just knocked the ball slightly too far in front of him. And Matt Finley was quickly out to thwart the danger. Then midfielder for Buckby, Ryan Merry, had this shot from distance. Although again, Finley didn't have to do too much to gather the ball. So at half-time, in this very entertaining game so far, from Buckby 1, FC Rishon and Diamonds 3. As the second half started, we had the slightly unusual situation, whereby only three out of the four floodlights came on. Although the referee, having consulted with almost every official on the ground, decided the game could continue. Hazel Korea, his shot rebounding through to Jason Turner, who could only shoot wide. And that before Unlove Ananda pulled out another good save from Matt Finley. And then Diamonds through Jason Turner had another opportunity, which James Broadbent put wide. Although the moment of the match was certainly saved for Diamonds defender Liam Dolman, who caught the ball absolutely perfectly from across to give Diamonds the fourth goal in the 68th minute. And the Diamonds would then get the fifth. A great run down the left-hand side by Tom Lorraine. There was Mr. Reliable again, that gearing to cipher home his second and put the gloss on what would certainly become a man of the match nomination performance. Scott Joseph joined the action late on, although he rather continued where he'd left off against Whitworth in midweek. Gearing had just enough time to make two Buckley players look a little bit silly before playing in a wonderful ball through to Scott Joseph. His shot was pretty neat, although Broadbent was equal to it. So full time in this one, Long Buckby 1, AFC Russian and Diamonds 5. Diamonds therefore keep their lead at the top of the UCL Premier Division. Now if you've got that far, you'll have seen Matt Gearing's two goals. Matt, talk us through them. Uh, yeah, first one obviously, um, turns obviously played the ball down to me. I was going to think about taking it on my left then and thought twice about it. Uh, and cut back on my right and just, to be honest, he just hit it and hit it, hit it well. Um, especially on this pitch, it can one of those that so it can come off your shin pad and go anywhere. 
Um, second one, to be honest with you, is one of them that could be harder than the first one. Where it comes back, it's bobbling around. Um, but to be honest with you, just put my foot through it and yeah, thankfully it went in. And then of course there was a penalty. Have you forgiven turns for uh, <laughs> robbing you of that trick? Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, to be fair, he drove me here, so I'll let him have it. Um, <laughs> No, nah, but I mean, we all know, obviously, with turns, um, with his pens and, and his clinical finishing as well. So um, I went too disappointed, to be honest with you. I got my two. Um, he only got one. So, yeah. And any thoughts on the game in general? Yeah. Um, obviously, the last few games, um, we haven't been taking chances. Um, it's been um, a difficult um, last few games. Um, but I thought today, um, the first five, ten minutes, um, we went and scored. They went up the other end and scored again and kind of thought, oh, is it going to be one of those days again? Um, but I think we stepped up a gear um, and I don't think they can handle us. We could have had more. Uh, so, yeah, good game. And you've been in and out of the team for the last little while. Um, how have you coped with that? It, it's been difficult, especially the season that I had last season um, where I did really well. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I've spoken to Peaks, obviously, you're never happy to be, be on the on the bench. You you, you want to be playing. Um, but uh, speak uh, to be fair, Peaksy, um, you know, kept speaking to me, phoned me up a couple of times, and I like that from a, from a manager because it is difficult when you are sitting on the bench. You kind of feel a little bit left out. Uh, but it was important that you know when I did get my chance and and I take it, which I think I did today. So you expect to be picked on Tuesday then? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See if John could get it all edited before Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to have a go at Peaks here, if not. Uh, right, and um, we had a little bit of a unusual situation after half-time with the floodlights going out. Quite a long stoppage. How does that affect you as a player? Um, yeah, it, it can affect you, especially like when you are in, you know, you know, playing well and you, you, on the, you, get, you get kind of a, a flow to the game as well and then something like that happens. And, um, I mean, you can see now they've, they've just come on. <laughs> um, I mean, most of the game, it's been dark down there, so you can't see anything. Um, yeah, it does affect you. It's difficult, especially on a cold night like this, obviously, to keep warm and everything as well. Um, but thankfully, it didn't affect us, and uh, we went on and scored uh, a couple more goals. So, yeah. Well, thanks very much, Matt. We'll let you go. We see the steam coming off you. Go and yeah. uh, get a shower and get ready, and uh, look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Cheers, Cheers. Thank thanks you. a lot. Thanks, mate. Andy, good result, that? Yeah, delighted with the result, mate. Absolutely spot on. And the performance? Yeah, performance, bear in mind, yeah, for a 10-minute spell first half, I was disappointed. After that, was pretty good, yeah. And a great start with Tom scoring? Yeah, no, we wanted to start, get all the blocks quick, um, get an early goal. We did exactly that. Unfortunately, then we conceded one straight away, which then gave them a lift. And uh, then a penalty, Turner and Matt having a bit of handbags. About that, what do you do then? Do you just look at the floor and let no, him sort it out? No, Turner's the penalty taker, so when he's on the field, he takes it. So I was shouting out for him to take it. And a good decision that turned out to be. Yeah, no, it's good for him. He, he, he wanted a goal, needs a goal, Jason. thought his performance today deserved a goal. And that was the one. So, yeah, it was a, Matt has missed a couple anyway, so he'll have to wait his turn. Yeah. But he scored a couple today and one of them a real cracker. Yeah, great finish. Just at a time when we needed it, really. Yeah, he took it well. First touch and killed in the corner. Good, yeah, great finish. We know he can do that, don't we? Yeah. And any other dark game would probably been goal of the game. But then um, Liam popped up and... Uh, did what he always does in front of goal. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know about that. It was a great finish from Liam. Yeah, yeah, he'd be happy with that. I'm sure he'll talk about it tonight. Yeah. And a great cross from Charlie. Yeah, great delivery. Yeah, I mean it's difficult for Charlie because he's he's a good right back getting forward. The way they played today meant he couldn't particularly, but when he does get a chance, he delivers a great ball. And uh, good to get back on a dominant performance following Saturday and Tuesday. Yeah, I mean we've, we've looked at it. Haven't we? we picked a couple of league points up before the Vars when. We're disappointed not to get three, but consolidation-wise, they were good points. Then obviously we lost in the Vars, we've got to put that behind us. Played in the night, I thought we played well. Should have won by a lot more, but we didn't. But you come here today, obviously these are bottom of the league, but they're going to beat someone eventually, because it always happened. They're quite bright going forward. We watched them last week, and it was just important. We got back three points, and I think it was quite convincing, which is a massive plus for the conference as well. Yeah. I seemed a very young side. Do, do you think a bit of naivety in defence? Yeah, I think, I think they've got a lot of young lads. I think the team changes quite regularly, but I think the boys who do come in play with no fear. So whereas some teams will pat the defence thing, oh, let's grind it out. These were like, no, we're going to have a go. You know, and they got a goal back straight away, which gave them a lift. Um, so, yeah, that's the way they play. And do you think that sometimes suits us better, having a more free-flowing game? 
I think so. I, I always fancy when teams defend deep and put everyone behind the ball. I always fancy to score eventually. But equally, when teams come out and try and match us, I think our quality, as long as we defend well, I think we'll always break teams down. And uh, with the team we've got, there's always a bit of conjecture and discussion who's going to start up front. Um, two lads you picked today didn't let you down? No, to be f I mean, Jason obviously... He went away, missed a game, and then because we got such good results and scored a lot of goals, it was hard for him to get back in. He's a little bit older, so when he gets back in, he needs two or three games to get into the swing of things. So I'm, I was, you know, I've, I've brought him to the club to get us the goals, to get us out of this league. That hasn't changed, so I went with him. Tom's worked his socks off and done well. Uh, Scott did all right and Russell's done all right, but in general, I just, you know, I can mix and match at times. I went for them two today, and I thought they'd done really, really well. And uh, Russ kept his tracksuit on. Is he carrying any knocks, or was that just? Uh, I look forward with the amount of games we've got coming up. Bit of both, really. He's full of the flow, to be honest, but he wanted to be involved. And if it had been nil-nil with 20 minutes to go down that slope, I'd have put him on because you know he's going to win loads in the air. But the score on as it was, it suited him not to come on. I don't want to, you know, want to get him better quickly. And it suited us. We were playing well anyway, so it was easy decision, really. And we've got one in, one out this week. Uh, talk about Jamal first. He's off to Daventry. Is, uh, can you explain the reasoning beyond that? Yeah, Jamal's obviously played last week. He's had minutes at right back. He needs minutes at centre half. That's his best position. We know that. There's no point in me carrying him and Parkey on the bench at times. So Jack's obviously going to be suspended soon. So that'll probably leave Parkey as it stands today playing. Jamal will be back involved then. So I'd sooner Jamal come back into the team fit and getting games. It suits Daventry. It suits us. It suits Jamal. So it's an easy one really at the moment. We can get him back as and when we need him. And uh, Danny Harmon coming in. And he played for the under-21s today. Did you get any reports on his performance? Yeah, he did well. Danny's obviously another young lad. He's a right back. We know obviously he's got a good pedigree with his dad. He does things the right way. He's been training. He's keen to get involved. And obviously with Joe Merrill struggling, certainly till the new year, he's told me yesterday. So it's a good addition again. Right. Well, thanks very much for that, Andy. Uh, we go again on Tuesday. And it's good night from me. And it's good night from me. <laughs> good night. <laughs>